I have a hundred lives. I have a hundred lives before me yet to grasp thee in, O spirit ethereal. Be sure I will with heart insatiate pursue thee like a hunter through them all. Thou yet shalt turn back on the eternal way and with awakened vision watch me come smiling a little at errors past and lay thy eager hand in mine its proper home. Meanwhile, made happy by thy happiness, I shall approach thee in things and people dear and in thy spirit's motions half possess loving what thou hast loved shall feel thee near until I lay my hands on thee indeed somewhere among the stars as twas decreed. Jivan Mukta There is a silence greater than any known to earth's dumb spirit motionless in the soul that has become eternity's foothold, touched by the infinitudes forever. A splendor is here, refused to the earthward sight, that floods some deep flame-covered all-seeing eye. Revealed, it wakens when God's stillness heavens the ocean of moveless nature. A power descends, no fate can perturb or vanquish, calmer than mountains, wider than marching waters, a single might of luminous quiet, tirelessly bearing the worlds and ages. A bliss surrounds with ecstasy everlasting, an absolute high-seated immortal rapture possesses, sealing love to oneness in the grasp of the all-beautiful, all-beloved. He, who from time's dull motion escapes and thrills, wrapped, thoughtless, wordless, into the Eternal's breast, unrolls the form and sign of being, seated in the omniscient silence. Although consenting here to a mortal body, he is the undying, limit and bond he knows not. For him the aeons are a playground. Life and its deeds are his splendid shadow. Only to bring God's forces to waiting nature, to help with wide-winged peace her tormented labour and heal with joy her ancient sorrow, Casting down light on the inconscient darkness, he acts and lives. Vain things are mine's smaller motives to one whose soul enjoys for its high possession infinity and the sempiternal all is his guide and beloved and refuge.